This is my 2003 Toyota Corolla. And a few years ago, I actually built this thing up to tackle the Gambler 500. It's got a homemade lift kit. It's got a front bumper fabricated by Ethan at Grindhard Plumbing Company. And this year, we plan on taking it to the Gambler again. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. But first, it needs a little bit of work. And by that, I mean, it needs brakes. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you will recognize this car. It has been in a few videos. And as I said, we did already take it to the Gambler and there's a video on that. But there's something new that I haven't shown on camera. And then the wheels. They're nothing fancy whatsoever. I think they're a hundred dollars a piece but uh, I think they totally changed the look of this car and really the only thing I'm tackling for maintenance before the trip is brakes I got new drums new shoes and new pads for the front And here is a look at the new versus the old. There's still some pad left on there. Well, the uh shop supervisor has decided to make an appearance and uh, check out how things are going. Anyways, I've got this caliper back together and now that it's back together, I'm thinking, I've got red paint. I could make that look prettier. And, you know, I think because I've got fancier wheels now, I'm kind of obligated to make it look pretty. Totally not, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyways, because Race Corolla. <laughs> oh, that thing's so silly. Now, would it have been a better idea to paint this while it was taken apart? Absolutely. But I didn't decide I wanted to do it until after I put it back together. It's all masked off, and uh, I'm just waiting for the, the pressure washer water to dry here and then I'll give her a uh, give her a coat of red and while I'm waiting for the water to dry here I'm actually gonna take these mud flaps off reason being is these new rims and tires rub a lot and it's actually fairly annoying take these mud flaps off and uh, should be good to go
right, the brakes are officially done. And you know what? All four corners took me like two hours total. It's super simple to do on this car. Uh, I shouldn't need to bleed it. I didn't physically disconnect the calipers or anything like that. So in theory, it's good for a quick test drive. All right, see how this goes. Oh yeah, the brakes work, like brakes. Uh, I would definitely say better than before because it's immediately as soon as you touch the, thro or the throttle, as soon as you touch the brake, it starts to brake. Huh, neat. I wouldn't say the brakes have ever been this good in this car since, since we've owned it, but I mean, no kidding, it's got brand new brakes in all four corners. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this week's episode of Dirt Garage and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys tune in for next week's video because we are taking this thing out to the Gambler 500 and uh, you won't want to miss it. And hey, if you guys could do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button and hey, consider subscribing. I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, and off-roading content. Anyways, I'll catch you next week. Peace. Yeah. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm